Winifred. Haste! Neither neither long nor broad. A codfish would serve him better in a duel. By what past <laughs> steed have I invited such boldness unto my sight? This is the third parcel of such lewd kind to be delivered this past fortnight. Send this back to your lord. It is of no use to me. <laughs> Oh boy, our bath's been away at work. I have been at easel side. Is not the resemblance striking? <clears throat> Beg pardon, Lord Gigglesswick, but in truth, nah, <laughs> but it is, it is of no import. The lady of your fancy has regrettably declined your last work. I fear she is disinterested. What? Are these not good enough to move my mistress's heart? Does she find me too gargantuan? Nay, do me this skill. My own worst fears have been realized. Vanquish my life and end my suffering. <laughs> Are you just going to give up? Forgo the woman you have wooed for so long? Nay, ye have the gentle heart of an artist and the shoulders of a mid-sized lioness. Dost thou think so spree? On to my back, Gigglesswick. We will to Gwynifred and make her know the man behind the bollocks. Do kindly raise her right buttock. Do hurry, Matt. My arm is getting tired. Oh, I simply can't wait to have this hanging over the mantle of our house. Once we're married, my sweet pert will stew. I spare no extravagance for you, my love. But the most she can spare me is minimum wage. Has he even gotten to the arse yet? Lady, could you lighten up your countenance a little? My apologies, Matthew. My conscience is weighed. Uh, a man I met some months ago at the Nevershire Ball has been persistently sending me these paintings, each depicting a stirring in his undergrowth. What? Pinka, fetch one of the works. Don't dwell for a moment on the tomfoolery of this rude knave. You're right, my pet. I'll think no more of this man and his atrocious artwork.
My lord, wait! Where are you going? For all this back-breaking labor and stuff, Giggle Slick. <laughs> Fear not, trusty spree. Thou shalt not want for snack food again. Ew. Boring.